y'all welcome back to my channel it's Danielle and in today's video we're talking about how to find peace more specifically some non-typical ways that you can find more peace in your life so what I did was I watched some videos because I wanted to see what other people were talking about like what my fellow content creators thought about how to find peace what their tips were and if they would be typical you know the typical stuff that people say like girl you need to meditate um you need to work out you know you need to eat well girl I don't want to give y'all that kind of stuff I want to give y'all some real tips so like I said I watched some videos and I found one that I thought had some really good tips however I want to give y'all my interpretation of those tips so I'm not going to tell you what what he said in the video as far as like what he thought those tips were I'm gonna tell you what I think those mean and what they mean to me and if you're interested in that then just keep on watching so the very first tip that he offered was to embrace uncertainty and to me that means to not let uncertainty stop you from doing the things that you want to do to not be scared to not live in fear all the time to go after the things that you want to follow your dreams to do the things that are the most important to you to live the best life that you possibly can all the above don't let uncertainty stop you from reaching your dreams have y'all ever heard that saying that if you shoot for the stars you'll still land in the sky or something like that I feel like that's pretty true like if you if you travel up here but you land here you're still not back here <laughs> you still way further than where you started you still you got a lot accomplished like you got you know you're a little you're a lot closer to where you want to be than where you started so get it go for it like do what you got to do get started jump in and don't let fear stop you from living your best life you deserve it number two is be mindful when I hear be mindful I think listen to your inner voices when you hear that little whisper telling you you are not where you're supposed to be like this is not the life that you deserve this is not the life that is for you there's something else for you out there you should listen to that and take every step that you can possibly take to get closer to where you actually want to be like there's no reason for you to stay where you are if you're not happy where you are when you look around at your life and you feel like this this can't be <laughs> this is not what I signed up for like this cannot be my life I'm not here for it take heed of that like start moving in another direction you can control your destiny but you gotta f make a plan and start following it don't just file your dreams away and if you do choose to do that be mindful that you're gonna have to live with the pain and regret that comes to you as a result you can either live out your dreams or you can die with your dreams hey hey if you're enjoying the video so far then leave a like below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel take action today stop sitting on the sidelines and get in the game do all the things that you want to do yeah it's definitely scary but I'm here I'm showing up right now because this is my dream this is my goal like I'm not gonna let the fear of showing up on this camera and talking to you stop me from pursuing what I want to pursue you got to be willing to show up with your vulnerability with your fear with your everything that's bottled up inside of you everything that you're feeling right now is natural but don't let it stop you from doing what you want to do put yourself out there be vulnerable and align yourself with your dreams you can stay where it's safe and unfulfilling or you can get uncomfortable I mean you can only but you got to choose you can only have one or the other you can't stay comfortable and make progress at the same time Les Brown once said that the graveyard was the richest place on earth because it's full of everybody's dreams don't let that be you look within ask yourself what's important to you ask yourself what what you want to share with the world what gifts you have to offer everybody else what you can how you can help other people you will almost always find your purpose in helping somebody else or in service be honest about what's really important to you don't settle for less than what's important to you get clear on what you want to accomplish and then be willing to go out there and do what you got to do to get there and let's be clear it's not about fame or adoration or money or even happiness really it's about living in your purpose you can't have a fulfilling life if you can't figure out what your purpose is and you don't feel like you're living in it to some degree live each day like it's your last when I hear live each day like it's your last I think take your next first step every day when we wake up we're taking a first step and we can choose to take a first step toward our dreams and our goals and if we're always taking a first step toward our goals, then we never have to plan out the whole journey. We can just take that first step every day. And when we look back, we'll be so much farther from where we started and so much closer to where we want to go. And then we'll be surpassing our dreams and we'll be crushing our goals. It's usually you. 
So he said, the essence of the problem is usually within us. I agree with that, but I want to take it a little bit further. I think the essence of the problem is in our spirit and it manifests in our mind and then in our actions. Let me say that again. I think the essence of the problem is in our spirit and it manifests in our mind and then in our actions. There's fulfillment in seeking yourself. There's fulfillment in the journey of self-discovery that you have to take to get to your, your purpose. If you ignore that journey, if you, don't, if you don't ever go down that path, then you'll never be truly fulfilled or happy. Purpose is the point of life and discovering yours is what you're here for. It's, it's your reason for being. It's why you won't be happy if you don't find it. It's why you need to figure out where you want to be, who you want to be, where you want to go, what you want to do, who you want to inspire, who you want to help, what you're going to offer. Like the, All these things create the picture of your purpose. It's not one singular thing. It's all these things that encompass your purpose and it's you helping other people that's going to let you know that you're doing the right thing and it's going to make you feel like you're living for real live with gratitude this one is pretty straightforward to me it's start each day with a grateful heart but i think it would take a lot less effort to be grateful if we made a decision every day if we got up and consciously made the decision every day to get and stay and keep ourselves on the right path for me, when I want to feel gratitude, what I usually do is just close my eyes and think about all the things that I'm grateful for, all the things that I love about my life, all the things, all the people that I love, all the things that make me who I am, all of my gifts, and I just thank God for all those things. I thank the universe for all those things, and that's usually enough to fill my heart with gratitude and joy, but if I'm being honest, it doesn't last all day. What lasts a lot longer is when I think about when I complete a task that I feel like falls within my gifts and I'm helping somebody else, that lasts a whole lot longer. As you go through those tasks, you'll start to get reminders that you're on the right path and you're doing the right things. And that's what I get from y'all when you send me messages telling me that, I'm, that I helped you in some way or that I inspired you in some way or that you thank me for making the video and saying what I said and um, you, you can relate to it and you're in the same season and all that stuff. like. Y'all don't understand how that hits different. <laughs> it just does. So thank you so much for commenting on my videos and letting me know that I'm on the right path. Meditate for focus. I think of this as a brain game and when I play it, I try to win. So what I do is I just close my eyes and I think about the most vivid picture of who I want to be, where I want to be, what I'm doing, and just creating my future self in my mind. and. It's not that I'm trying to clear my mind completely, it's more so that I'm trying to focus it on what I want it to focus on. Like I'm trying to direct it toward a particular thought. And usually I'm just creating a version of myself in my mind that I want to be later on. Like it's, I try to make it as vivid as possible and stay in it as long as I can. It's almost like a movie in my mind. I just envision it. And then when I open my eyes, sometimes I'm surprised at where I am because it was just so real other times i'm using meditation as a way to get rid of negative thoughts i'm like counting or trying to focus on one particular thing sometimes i'll just close my eyes and envision like a flickering flame like from a candle wick or something like that like i'll just focus on one thing like you can really pick whatever you want to focus on but the key is to try to make yourself focus on it the whole time as opposed to like just letting your thoughts go all over the place and you know, then before you know it, you're back to thinking negative thoughts again. So I think both methods improve mental clarity and either one works, but I prefer the one where, <laughs> where I'm like envisioning my future self and my life and I feel like that one gives me more direction. Reevaluate satisfaction. When I hear this, I think of all the times someone that I've heard someone say, not to me directly, but I hear other people say that people say, you should be happy where you are right now. You should be grateful that you have what you have. I disagree with that logic. Like, I don't think that that's how you should think. I do think you should be grateful for what you have, but I don't think that you should be content with what you have or pretend to be satisfied with what you have when you really aren't, when you know that you can do more and you deserve more and you want more. There's nothing wrong with wanting more. If you never experience dissatisfaction, then you'll never strive for anything better. You'll never strive for greatness. Discomfort causes you to move. Comfort keeps you right where you are. What needs to be reevaluated is the line of thinking that you should be happy you got a roof over your head, you should be happy you got clothes on your back and food in your belly and shoes on your feet, that you shouldn't be greedy. Listen, be as greedy as you want to be. Be as greedy as you need to be. As long as you're earning your success, it's not greed, it's a trade. You're trading what you have to offer the world for compensation. The word greed implies that you're doing something wrong, but you're not. 
There's nothing wrong with earning your lifestyle. What we need to reevaluate is our work ethic and our commitment to our goals and our dreams so we don't have to settle for less.